Holy shit, you guys. The official title for Season 9 of American Horror Story, accompanied by the first official teaser, has been dropped out of nowhere. Normally, they wait for San Diego Comic Con to do this, but here we are. So in this video, I will be analyzing the teaser as well as the title, theorizing on the season, as well as updating you on any news regarding the season that has come out since my last video regarding Season 9. Now before we get started, I just wanted to remind you all to follow me on Twitter and Instagram at Ryan Murphy Verse. I would appreciate it, I've been using it a lot more. But anyway, without further ado, let's just get this out in the open. The official title for American Horror Story Season 9 is... American Horror Story 1984. Get used to saying that, I'm gonna get used to saying that, because this is the official title. I will start out by just speculating about the title. So as I'm sure many of you thought of, the first thing that came to my mind was George Orwell's novel 1984. Fortunately for you guys, I have read this book. It's a high school requirement in the United States. If you are in the United States, you've probably read it too. If you aren't, maybe you have too. I don't know anything about education systems out of the United States, but that's irrelevant. Anyway, but I can say that the book has a similar tone and theme to the past couple of seasons of American Horror Story. So let me elaborate. 1984 is about a country called Oceania, run by Big Brother. Uh, this book literally is the origin of the term Big Brother, but basically Big Brother is the totalian leader of Oceania, and there's propaganda everywhere saying Big Brother is always watching, and the citizens never actually see Big Brother himself, leading some to question if he even exists. Basically, the government is constantly surveying their citizens through two-way telescreens, and if someone is misbehaving or rebelling, the government has the ability to set them straight through torture in the in Infamous Room 101. Okay, so there's a lot more to this book than what I said, but that's just the basic. Uh, it's a very dystopian vision of the future where the government has way too much control and individuals are basically not allowed to think freely. So to me, this book is along the same lines of the corrupt government plots in Cult as well as the dystopian end of the world plots in Apocalypse. So it makes sense if this season has something to do with the book, or similar plot lines, characters, or anything tones to the book. If the title is in fact a reference to the book, I would expect the references to the book to be plentiful, so keep an eye out for anything referencing Room 101, Big Brother, or anything along those lines. But of course, 1984 is also just a year. The 1980s, at least to me, were a part of the golden age of the slasher genre. The 1980s gave us the Friday the 13th series, the Halloween sequels, Child's Play, and Nightmare on Elm Street, as well as a lot of others. Out of those movies that I named, the first Nightmare on Elm Street, as well as the fourth installment of the Friday the 13th series, actually did come out in the year of 1984. To me, this teaser and the title card is very reminiscent of Friday the 13th, I mean, I believe the actual intention for the teaser was to be similar to Friday the 13th specifically, and the title card speaks for itself. Alright, so that's all the analyzing of the actual title that I'm going to do, now let's talk about the teaser itself. Keep in mind, teasers tend to have nothing to do with the actual season, so bear with me as I try to speculate. First off, we have our protagonist of the teaser, who is a woman and she's running in the woods. Um, all of these shots are extremely dark and not lit very well, so we won't be getting into too much detail of the actual scenery and the clothes and the actual faces of the characters. Next, we have a shot of a larger masculine figure that is chasing the woman. He is wearing some sort of mask and his posture and build is reminiscent of Jason from Friday the 13th. The silhouette is very Jason-esque, and I believe that's what they're going for. Next, the woman runs to the house, and from this angle, it kind of reminds me of Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Not exactly sure why, though. Um, that's just the first thing that came to my mind when I saw this shot. Maybe that's intentional, maybe I'm delusional. Then we get a look at the killer. He seems to have chains on his mask, which is interesting. It's not very. It's not a very specific reference to any other slasher. I don't know of any masks that are similar to that, but it's still very Jason-esque, the whole silhouette and vibe. He's also wearing overalls, which is a staple of Jason's costume. Then we have the woman opening the door, and we get a look at what she's wearing. This costuming is also very reminiscent of the women in Friday the 13th, at least to me. Next, she closes the door, and the killer begins to walk onto the porch. Then she leans back on the door, perfectly angling her head with the antlers on the wall, and this reminds me of the first Supreme from Roanoke. I will not be bothering pronouncing her name because you guys always correct me in the comments. 
Um, however, the messy and curly hair mixed with the antlers, to me at least, seems like an intentional thing to remind us of her. Maybe magic will be a part of the season, but also maybe there were just antlers on the wall and this means absolutely nothing. Then finally we have the title card. The font and color is very reminiscent of Friday the 13th again, as I believe the whole trailer is an homage to Friday the 13th. So based off this trailer alone, I would assume that the season will be focusing on the slasher subgenre of horror. This is something American Horror Story has never really focused on. I mean, of course, there's slasher elements in every season, but the genre itself is never truly slasher when there's also ghosts, demons, witches, and vampires running around. Cult and Freak Show are the most slasher-esque to me, as neither of them have fantastical elements, but the trope of the single masked killer slasher things is never really the forefront of American Horror Story. But I still would definitely categorize Cult and Freak Show as having slasher as a part of their genre. With my interpretation of the trailer mixed with my interpretation of the title, I kind of get a similar vibe to Cult, however set in the past. If the season actually takes place in 1984, this will be the first season to take place entirely in the past since Freak Show. Of course, you have to look back at the first teasers for every season, and you will soon realize that we still have no fucking clue on what the season will actually be about. Last Lastly, let me just update you on the cast news. As you know, Gus Kenworthy and Emma Roberts are still the only confirmed cast members. Evan Peters has unfortunately confirmed that he will not be a part of season 9. Sarah Paulson seemingly confirmed that she would be a part of the season, however, she later tweeted a confusing emoji, so now I'm not very sure. So those are all the updates regarding cast. This is all very preliminary, but it is always fun to speculate, so let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Are there any details I missed in the teaser? Feel free to let me know. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.